Major League Baseball may be coming to Northport in Sarasota County. The Atlanta Braves are thinking about moving their spring training from the Disney Complex in Orlando to a 150-acre site off the Tamiami Trail. News Channel 8's Peter Bernard is in Sarasota tonight. Really is some exciting news for the Tampa Bay area. Absolutely, and this is big, potentially could be really big, but to use a baseball analogy, it's not even the top of the first inning. Following other baseball teams relocating to new digs, the Atlanta Braves are on the hunt for a new training facility. They are eyeing this undeveloped area in the West Village's communities. Is baseball a good fit? Baseball is a great fit. It's perfect for the community because it involves people of all ages. Baseball, especially the Braves, are known for giving back to the community, and so it really enhances the lifestyle. Here's a look at what could be if the Braves moved to Northport. The training facility would include a 7,500-seat stadium, practice fields, and other improvements. Well, we're certainly excited about the opportunity and the possibilities, but uh, it is a process through which we're going, and there is uh, some work that remains to be done, so we'll see how far it takes us. Northport is one of several Florida communities under consideration for the new Braves complex. You hear that news, you get excited about you know Major League Baseball right here in Northport, you know, for the city to potentially be known as the home of the Braves in spring training. Uh, it is exciting. If it all happens, this pine and pub scrubland will be transformed. Sports tourism is one of our target industries in Sarasota County, so it would benefit us tremendously. You look around our community at the other amenities that we have, adding this asset to that list would be tremendous. Kind of fun to contemplate, huh? The Braves are looking at having their spring training facility up and running by the spring of 2018. So, two years away. Keith? Yeah, well, it's beautiful land, but I can envision it in my mind's eye, Peter. It could be something else. But who's going to pay for all of that? How's that going to work? That's all preliminary as well. The land developer out there has said that they're going to donate the land. There is bonding available, so they might be able to do that. And there's also a state grant that's available for, for spring training teams. They may tap into that as well. But again, all preliminary, cayenne in the cloud right now. We have to wait how it all gels. Yeah, and a lot of competition for it, too. Peter Bernard in Sarasota tonight. Thank you, Peter.